show for you guys today. Check who's here. We have the students and we have our teachers from the General George A. McCall School in the Society Hill section of Philadelphia. Hey, they just got into the classroom. The show lets students try to prove that they are, in fact, smarter than their teachers. Hey, the best schools, they always have a great spirit section. Look who's here. Biggest audience ever on the classroom today. They made it. All right, they got buses, they're here, and so are you. You guys know the deal. It's winner take all on the cash and bragging rights. Before we meet our contestants, I have to see who studied. We're calling it a pop quiz. I love it. I love the energy. Biggest audience ever. You guys rolled in with so many people. It's unbelievable. Hey, grab your buzzers, teams. You're going to need them for this one. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team has a chance to buzz in and steal those points. Pop quiz starts right now. In the Netflix movie, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, Lara Jean's crush receives what items? Nina. Her secret letters. Letters is right. Students strike first. What is the name of the little girl in the fairy tale about three bears who find out that she ate their porridge and slept in their beds? Mr. Sykes. Goldilocks. Goldilocks is right. What is the only month of the year to end with the letter L? Mr. Mr. D. April. Dwayne Yez is right. Correct. The Battle of Pomatix Courthouse was the one of the final battles of what war? Miss McCann. Civil War. Civil War is right. What is the capital of Minnesota? Mr. Duenas. Minneapolis. Students for the steal. Minnesota. Looking for St. Paul was the right answer. In what U.S. state can you find Honolulu? Mr. Duenas. Hawaii. Hawaii is right. What type of math problem uses a minus sign to find the difference between two values? Nina. Subtraction. Bob. There it is. What is the sixth planet from the sun? Miss McCann. Jupiter. Students for the steal. <laughs> Nina. Neptune. Very close. Looking for Saturn. Saturn. In the United States, what type of bird is traditionally eaten on Thanksgiving? Mr. Sykes. Turkey. Turkey's right. And that is it for Pop Quiz. What a start. What a start. Hey, we're off to a good one today. We have the School of McCall in here today, ready to rock from Philadelphia, home of the Bears. We got to meet them. Let's do it. What's going on, Nyla? How are you? Hi. Good to see you today. You ready to rock this thing? Yeah. All right, big news. You got three or two of your best friends here ready to rock against two, three. I'm good at counting today, aren't I? <laughs> three teachers ready to take that money. 500 is on the line. Where's that going to go? Um, we're going to have an eighth grade mural. Oh, cool. And where are you going to put it? We're going to, like, there's this wall at our recess. It's just like empty so we're going to get some paint we're going to put our hands on it and we're going to write our names inside you know what that's the coolest thing i've ever heard when you guys are doing that i'm coming because i just love putting my hand in paint doing all that you're in seventh grade and she's team captain for this you're a stuco member tell me some of the things you guys are doing this year uh well we just had a red envelope for chinese new year oh, amazing. Ten people they win like red golden tickets and whoever wins they get to have an olive garden um dinner what you bring a red envelope for me no. I love me some <laughs> unlimited breadsticks. Queenie, good to see you. Eighth grade, uh, you love to play volleyball. What would you say your favorite position is? Server. Server. Do you know why I feel like that's your favorite position? Because you don't get the spikes thrown back at you. I, that, that in itself has kept me from playing volleyball my entire life. <laughs> some of those people can hammer that thing. Do you love, uh, you get, I'm sure you've gotten some aces. Yeah. Yeah. You seem so relaxed about it. Yeah, I've got some aces. <laughs> Nina, eighth grader, good to see you. Mm -hmm. You play volleyball. You're in Stuco as well. You do a little bit of everything. Yeah, I guess. Do you ever see Queenie just serving it up, dropping aces? Yeah, she's a really good server. Oh, see, Queenie, I knew you lied to me. You just were like, <laughs> what are you? So how, what position do you like to play, Nina? Um, I kind of like to be middle and setter. All right, cool. Uh, how's the squad this year, guys? Good. Well, I mean, our season just ended, but we have a couple wins. 
All right, just a couple wins is all you need to keep moving, right? Well, guys, get that win today. 500's on the line. I want to do that. Merle, let's go. Come on. Got some awesome kids over there. Miss McCann, 500 for you. Where's it going to go? Um, to new uh, sports uniforms. Oh, cool. Anything in particular we need? Volleyball uniforms, volleyball is this, net. Is this well. the whole volleyball team at this point? You coach I'm volleyball? The coach. All right, so there it is. So you're like, guys, no matter where the money's going, we're getting it. Uh, English teacher, mm -hmm. and then you're also the STU co advisor. I am. And yes. all of these students are yours over here. They're wonderful, very hard week, hard working. When you come when you come into this week, is there just a ton of trash talk going on? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. We said we're not going easy today. All right, cool. <laughs> you guys did a great start. Fifty to twenty out of pop quiz, looking good. Mr. Sykes, this is always good to get something like this on here. He's the dean of students. Now, if you don't know what that is, he gives out detentions <laughs> to everybody. That's what he's known for, right? Absolutely. But he's also known for something else, and that's cup stacking because he's the what? How, what's the official title? I'm the team cap. I'm the team coach of Team USA, the national team. Which is cups? Which is if anyone's ever seen it, it's the brrr, <laughs> right? Pretty much. Yeah. And where, what country is the best in cup stacking? Um, the U.S. used to dominate. We held, held all the world records. Now it's mixed. Uh, we still have the overall fastest stacker in the world in the U.S. What's um, his or her name? Uh, William Morrell. All right. Well, so what's up, William? We're talking about you <laughs> in Philly. All right. Nice, man. We're glad you're here. We'll get into some cups later. It's actually a game, so I'm sure you're going to win that. <laughs> Mr. Duane, yes. Good to see you. P.E. teacher. You, uh, you brought powerlifting to the school. Sure did. All right, so what's that look like? You just bring as much heavy rocks as you can? <laughs> no, no, not at all. We practice form, we practice technique, and then at the end we have a little competition. All right, so I see that you're covered. Look at some of these tats he has. Not one of them, not one of them seems to like go with another. They just seem like the most random collection of things, and they look awesome. What's the coolest one you have? Mm, probably Ultraman. Ultraman, for sure. Look how awesome that is. Yo, are, does it hurt? Yes. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> All right, well, guys, here's something else that's going to hurt, because three teachers have to go to detention, or three students. We're going to find out who right now. Okay, teams, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or pass. You choose to play. You answer the question correctly. You can send any member of the other team to detention. But if you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. Same exact elimination rules apply. The first team to send everybody from the other team to detention is going to win 40 points this round. Students, you can fire right back into it. Here we go. Your category is social studies. We're going to play. We're going to play it. Here it is. 1836's Battle of the Alamo took place in what U.S. state? You can talk about it. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. We were a little off there. We were talking about Texas, guys. So we're off to a tough start here because teachers are over here knowing that you get to send somebody to detention right off the bat. Who's it going to be? Nina. Bye, Nina. Nina. <laughs> Nina, that was a quick one. You got to go to detention. Tough go. All right, as we move into teachers, category number two is animals. Pass or play? Play. Play. Yeah, play. play. Orcas, or killer whales, are actually the largest species of what mammal family? No, no, no. Dolphins, I think. A dolphin family. Coming out of left field, that's right. The dolphin family's right. <laughs> Just like this, takes a commanding two-to-one lead here. We have Nyla and Queenie. Both don't want to go to detention, but somebody has to. So who's it going to be? Yeah. Nyla. Nyla out of the game. <laughs> Queenie, hold it down. <laughs> Nyla has to go, and it's just like that. Guys, is it getting kind of filled over there? Yeah. All right, well, Queenie's got, she's got her back up against the wall here, but you can do this, all right? You just got to get three straight. I believe in you. <laughs> Category here, popular children's books. Yeah. Y yeah? <laughs> the way you say everything with so much energy, it's almost too much. It's too much for me. All right, here we go. Ready? Come on, girl. You can do this. In the Roll Doll book, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, what is Charlie's last name? She's thinking. We need an answer. One second. 
Charlie Bucket, I'm so sorry, oh. Queenie. You have to go to detention. And look at that. We have a oh. sweep. Teachers take the round, bringing them up to 90 points on the game to the students' 20. Man, you hate to see a teacher sweep in detention. They love to go. Hey, we'll be right back to see how well our contestants can spell. Don't go anywhere. Classroom. Today we have students and teachers from the McCall School in the Society Hill section of Philadelphia battling it out. The scores, teachers in the lead right now. They got 90 points on the board to the students, 20. But everybody knows middle schoolers always push hard in spell check and the rest of this game. There's still plenty of time left for them to crawl back into this. So let's do it. We're going to spell check next. <laughs> Here's how the game works. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'm going to give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. But if you say a wrong letter at any point, you're out of there. If your team eliminates everyone from the other squad, you're going to win 30 points for the round. If the clock runs out. Each player left standing is going to get 10 points just for making it through those two minutes, something I could not do. Here we go, teachers. We're going to start with you, and it starts now. Your first word, gross. G-R-O-S-S. Nyla, never. N-E-V-E-R. Hotel. H-O-T-E-L. Mission. M-I-S-S-I-O-N. -S -S nice job, Queenie. Confide. C-O-N-F-I-D-E. Speaker. S-P-E-A-K-E-R. Good job, Nina. Anxiety. A-N-X-I-E-T-Y. Thrilling. T H R I L L E R I N G. Sorry, forgot it. The I N G on there. Nyla's out. We're down to two students. Educator. E D U C A T O R. Good job, Mr. Sykes. Discarded. C I S C A R D E D. Good job, Queenie. Ornaments. O R N A M E N T S. <laughs> Launching. L U N C H I N G. Good job, Nina. Proximity. P R O X I M I T Y. The finger came out. That's going to help you. <laughs> Salvation. S A L V A T I O N. Good job. Favorable. F A V O R A B L E. Teachers. Stay perfect. Enunciate. A N E N. Sorry, Nina. Out, out of the game. We're down to our last one. Queen, you got to hold it down for the students again. Rectangular. R E C T A N G U L A R. Staying perfect. Stay in the game here. Resourceful. R E S O U R. E F U L. Sorry, you're out of there. Couldn't do it, which means another 30 points gets tacked onto this teacher score. Bringing them up to 120 to the students 20. Only down 100 right now. We're not done yet. Because start your vocal exercises and we're going to do the music class coming up next, followed by the all important final exam. The classroom is still in session when we come back. Good try, guys. Queenie. Today we have students versus teachers from the McCall School and Society Hill section of Philadelphia. I had to check out this front row. Show them the guns again, guys. Hit them with the things. They've been doing these all show, and it's been serious energy in this front row. Daniel, uh, you have Mr. Duenvez, right? Yeah. As a teacher. Yeah. Are you a part of his powerlifting squad? Yeah. All right, show them these biceps. Look at these puppies. <laughs> Duenvez, what do you got them on, man? All protein so over here. Much, all right, and Tallulah, you go to school there. What's your favorite thing about McCall? Um, probably science. Science class. Science class. You guys have some really cool science classes. Yeah. Hey, the teachers are in the lead right now. 120 points to the students, 20. Do you think they can come back? Yeah. Yeah, that's because you're good at math, too, right? Absolutely. Hey, let me hear you hit the perfect note right now. Go, ah. Because ah. we're going to music class next. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. 
David's bicep was huge. Excuse me, Daniels, and I'm not afraid to say it. Man, keep up with those weights, brother. You're looking good out there. Teams, grab your buzzers. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song. Then Mike Jarek from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia, he's going to read a small portion of those lyrics, and I imagine it's going to be hilarious. The first person to buzz in, correctly answer that question, is going to win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in, you get it incorrect. A member of the other side is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal those 10 points. Points. We have three sets of lyrics today. Here we go, Mike. You hear these lyrics in a 2015 Billboard hit song by what rapper? Hit me with the lyrics. All right, Richard, try this one on for size. Are you ready? Call me on my cell phone late night when you need my love. <laughs> uh, Mr. Dwayne Vez up first. <laughs> Drake. Drake is right. There's 10 points. That is 10 points for you. Oh, man. All right, Mike. That was good. So I'm thinking we're going to do this one more time. Here's the question. What performer sings these lyrics in a 2016 song heard on a movie soundtrack? Mike? How about this one? I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't buzz in on that after that. Ooh, either. Guys, we were looking for Justin Timberlake saying that one there. Moving on to question number three, finally in music class. I know we have one more from Mike, so here is your question, sir. What performer sings these lyrics in a 2018 MTV Video Music Award winning song? Don't matter how, what, where, who tries it. We're out here vibin'. We vibin'. We vibin'. <laughs> oh, no. Are we going to hit it? Miss McCann. Bruno Mars. Is that Bruno Mars? It is not. That was for the steal. Students, you want to go for a steal here? Ariana Grande. Nyla, buzz in if you know it. No, Nina. Um, Justin Timberlake. She buzzed in, Nina. And that is incorrect as well. Nyla, if you just buzzed in, you would have had it. That was Ariana Grande. Points getting left on the board there. Hey, a big thanks to Mike Jarek for that performance. I think he's got a Grammy in his future. Hey, let's take a look at our scores. Teachers in the lead, 130 points. To the students, 20. Hey, both teams, they still have a chance to win because we've been cramming for this all day. We're going to that final exam. The topic of today's final exam is landforms. I'm going to ask teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points. Teams, you're going to work together, write down your questions or answers during the commercial break. No writing quite yet. Let's hear these questions first. The first question of the final exam is What is the term for a deep valley with the very steep vertical sides that is created by weathering, erosion, tectonic activity, or the movement of rivers? Question number two. Measuring the depth of a lake with your ponytails isn't scientific, but it works for Bot, Geo, and Millie, the characters in what Nick Jr. show? Finally, question number three on the final exam. An archipelago is a large body of water containing a group of what? Okay. We know the questions. Each team has 60 seconds to talk about it. Come up with their answers in just a couple of minutes. We're going to see which team aces this final exam. And the students need this to rank first right here in the classroom. Hey, but here's a look at how you can be a part of the show. Check it out. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Into the classroom today, we have students and teachers from the call school going head to head right now. Teachers are saying, What's up? with the score of 130 points <laughs> to our students, 20. Now, granted, students, you guys know you like to finish this game strong, right? So we're feeling strong with this final exam. Now, the points, they're tough right now. The topic of today's final exam is landforms. Before we went to break, I asked teams both three questions about landforms. And guys, each correct answer is going to bank you 100 points. So it's time to get to it. Let's see who aced this final exam. Take that money back to their school. Here we go. 
We're going to start with question number one, which was, what is the term for a deep valley with a very steep vertical sides that is created by weathering erosion, tectonic activity, or the movement of rivers? Nina, we're going to start with you, and this is sad for me, because you answered what? Forage. Which is? Incorrect, but you knew that, didn't you? Yes. Because as soon as we said five seconds till we're coming back, you said the right answer. Which was canyon. A canyon, and she knew it. Which means, teachers, because they got that wrong, if you guys get this right, the game is over. We go to Mr. Duanvez. What is the term for a deep valley with very steep vertical sides that is created by weathering, erosion, tectonic activity, or the movement of rivers? for the win. You said the right answer of Canyon, and that is going to get them $500. Come on out here and get that check. Hey, the second question, measuring the depth of the lake, Team Umizoomi, and how about that third question, the Arc of Alekalo is Islands was the answer. Islands was right there. That's a tough word to say. Hey, I want to thank you guys for being here, joining yourselves in the classroom. Join us next time. We have brand new kids, brand new teachers, and $500 on the line. We'll see you next time. Big win for the teachers.